This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Wow, hard to believe November's winding down. That means the end of the 2016 hurricane season. Before I get to weather, congratulations to the Florida State Seminoles for defeating their arch rivals, the uh, Florida Gators, in a game uh, in Doak S. Campbell Stadium yesterday, 31-13. to Hope that your team won in rivalry Saturday. Satellite image this morning shows that we have clear skies over much of uh, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas, and a good portion of Tennessee. But we're also seeing a good deal of cirrus beginning to shape up to our west, and that will be filtering the sun somewhat today, but we still expect highs to climb well into the 60s. At the surface, our surface pattern features a large high-pressure system, primarily over the southern Appalachians that's going to be migrating a little bit east over the next several days. As another system, or as a system, uh, drops into the southwestern United States, and that is going to be dr uh, driving a couple of systems out over the next several days, producing some rainy weather. Gosh, does anybody really know what that is? Temperatures this morning starting out on the chilly side. A few spots dipping down into the teens. Black Creek reported 18 this morning. Nakalula Falls was at 22. So a lot of really chilly values this morning and most places below freezing. The watch warning map this morning features a hodgepodge of things. The gray areas are dense fog advisories. Uh, the kind of off blue up there in uh, parts of uh, our primarily in North Dakota is uh, a winter storm watch. And over the Rockies, you see a combination of purple and sort of pinkish. Those are winter storm warnings and or advisories. So a hodgepodge of things going on. The great news is the QPF, the quantitative precipitation forecast showing on the order of over all of Alabama from one and three quarter inches to nearly five inches of rain over a good deal of the state of Alabama. And the heavier amounts are being forecast across the northern uh, third of the state of Alabama, maybe even the northern half. And that's great because when you look at the latest drought monitor, that's the area that is in the exceptional drought. So we're very happy about the possibilities of that. Storm Prediction Center has a couple of marginal risk areas uh, over uh, Oklahoma, Texas, and uh, Kansas for today. For day two, that's uh, primarily Monday, we have an enhanced risk over uh, the northern two-thirds of Louisiana and a little bit of East Texas with a slight risk over parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, and eastern Texas. And then for day three, the marginal risk is over a good portion of the southeastern U.S. with a slight risk over southern Louisiana and southern Mississippi primarily, but a little bit of an extension into southwestern Alabama. And the tropical season winding down, but the tropics are quiet. All right, 0 6 e GFS model run. There's our surface high pressure moving off to the east. And as it does, we're going to come under good southerly flow. In the meantime, in the upper atmosphere, that trough that's off to our west will be coming out across the lower Mississippi, the lower and central Mississippi River Valley. Uh, during the day on Monday, and that should uh, help to produce a bit of a stormy situation over the lower Mississippi River Valley uh, for uh, the area just to our west with uh, some threat of rain for us coming by late afternoon and into the evening hours of Monday. The trough kicks out very quickly. Uh, this is kind of confusing here, but the one that's over uh, the eastern Great Lakes is the one that was kicking out Monday. In the meantime, another one has dropped into the southwestern United States. And so that pushes uh, the front uh, well into the southeastern U.S. Now, I have some concerns here because that upper flow just doesn't seem to really support the front getting that far to the southeast. However, the uh, European is also buying into that position. I've, I'm kind of uh, concerned that we... Uh, that we won't see it get quite that far, but that means more rain, and so that, that could be a good thing. On Wednesday, that second trough over the southwestern U.S. begins to kick out through the uh, lower and central Mississippi River Valley, and as it does, it's going to spell another round of weather and potentially severe weather for us uh, as uh, another round of, of weather comes out with that uh, upper uh, trough coming out across the central Mississippi River Valley and uh, the European also spelling something very similar and the timing pretty much on the same uh, line as the GFS. Now the question about severe weather is uh, 
Yeah, there's still a lot of questions about it. Uh, this is our, our fall severe weather season, so we do have to be uh, alert. The, the pattern, uh, the troughs move on Thursday, so we basically are going to come back under dry conditions. But as you can see, we're not getting an, a nice northwesterly fetch. So the bottom line is our surface high is coming in from the area just to our west. So we're going to cool off, but it's not going to get exceptionally cold. Uh, the upper trough um, to our west digs in as we continue to see a ridge over us on Friday and again on Saturday, the ridge becoming the, the primary feature over the southeastern U.S. As again, the, the uh, trough is digging in, but we see kind of two pieces of it, one over the uh, northwestern uh, Mexico area and another piece over the Dakotas. Now, by the time we get to the very end of the period Sunday, uh, the ridge is still well in place, and that's keeping things to our west and to our north. So uh, we're not being impacted quite as much, but the system that is over Mexico is uh, projected to develop a pretty good uh, band of rain or a shield of rain here uh, over uh, the northwestern Gulf of Mexico and the lower Mississippi River Valley. And even the uh, European is pretty bullish on the same sort of scenario. So we may see another round of rain potentially on Sunday. Uh, however, it may stay well to our south. Looking out into voodoo country, that uh, deep trough over Mexico begins to come out on Tuesday. So once again, that does spell the, the potential for uh, maybe a round of severe weather, but it definitely a round of some wet weather for us again. And then the ridge becomes the dominant feature that we see in the pattern for Friday, the 9th of December. And then again, as we get out to the 12th of December, it's a rather huge ridge covering all of the Bahamas and Gulf of Mexico. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back in the saddle once again on Monday with the next edition of the Weather Extreme video. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.